what is up everybody welcome back to the eclectic beard so this go around finally looking at stormzy now i the only thing i've actually heard from stormzy is uh i tried reacting to a, a track he did uh he was a feature on somebody's track and he was taking shots at uh, chip uh so it's between that there's a song that he's got on the uh, new watchdogs legions soundtrack i heard that I think he might have a song on NBA 2K21. I can't remember, though. I know OSHA Wisdom does, which completely blew my mind. I was like, holy crap. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, we're going to take a look at Stormzy. Shut up. Um, now, I'm sure in the comments, y'all can tell me. <sighs> my chair kept going down. I hate that. I'm sure in the comments, y'all can tell me where to go after this song, as far as Stormzy is concerned, so... Uh, not even gonna lie, had the most views. So that's the reason why we're looking at it. Not like anything past his first couple years worth of material on YouTube has less than a million views on it, anyways. But still, we'll take a look at this. Let's go ahead and get into it. Why are we hit? What's that? Well, pushback. No, the <laughs> case. What's that name? Alright. State your name, cuz. Stormzy, innit? And what are we doing today? We're repping, innit? Yeah? <laughs> Fucking repping, innit? Yeah? Fire in the pot. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, look. Man, <laughs> try to say he's better than me. Tell my man, shut up. Shut, shut up. up. Mention my name in your tweets. I rude by shut up. Shut, shut up. up. How can you be better than me? Shut up. Shut, shut up. Best in the scene. Tell my man, shut look. up. Couple man call me a backup dancer on stage on the bridge, I'm a backup dancer. If that makes me a backup dancer, the man in your bids, backup dancer. The man in your pics, backup dancer. Man wanna chat about backup dancer. Big man like me with a beard, I'm a big man, how the fuck can I back up? Comes everywhere I go, I can't run with my enemies show. Walk in the club with all of my tugs, parties done, everybody go home. Got from the girl, then you look say. I'm liking the setup on this one. He's outside, he's got a crowd of people around him. Now, I don't know who this is towards, because this, this sounds like it's specifically geared towards somebody. And I know he's had beef with a couple of people within the scene. I don't know if it's... I believe he's had beef with Wiley, and I don't know if it's towards him, or who who is towards... or what. Um, and I could be wrong on who, on who it is that he had beef with. I think Wiley, I know he's got beef right now, or he did in recent months with Chip, uh, which... Does have produced some amazing, <laughs> amazing songs, um, but I'm liking this the setup with, uh, on this one. Um, got the crowd, got them interacting, uh, so yeah. Look in the club with a girl say hey, tell a man like I'm paid to the A. There's no champagne, we don't break. Yeah, I'm the best, I'm so cocky. I got a mob like ASAP Rocky. I set trends, the man copy. They catch feelings, I catch body. They roll deep, I roll squaddy. Got about 25 goons in my posse. They drink Baileys, I drink bossy. I get murky, they get worried. If you got a GAT, bring it out. Most are real bad boys in the south. If you wanna do me something, I'm about. I'm not a gangster, I'm just about. But you see my man over there with a the pouch? Yeah, one of you man try get loud. All of my man them so foul. I might sing, but I ain't sold out. Now so he rolling with a, uh, it, it, he, he rolling with a crew and they, they ain't afraid to scrap, which then again, I say scrap, but he's talking about bring out your gat, you know, G-A-T, bring out your gats, bring out your gun. Uh, so he's not to be messed with. Then again, uh, why is the posse so big? Like, but then again, you got, it's rap. Normally the, the, the beefs taken spill out amongst not only the rappers, but also their crew. And every rapper seems to have some sort of crew. So, I mean, you know, it goes, goes back to that. But uh, he definitely telling this person uh, pretty much you don't want no smoke. Nowadays, all on my show sold out. Headlines, all yeah, blood sold out. When we roll in, they roll out. I'm so London, I'm so south. Food in the ends like there ain't no drought. Flips don't talk like he's got no mouth. I wanna make my mum so proud. Like your mum, book a flight, go now. All on my ex girls talking me hard. Talk to my face, tell them talk to my palm. Had four bills and I bought them your car. Little red whip that I bought from my mom. I straight murk as I walk in the park. I take care when I walk on my plants. These MCs wanna talk about Lord of the Mics. You ain't even Lord of your yard. Dead MCs, blood, leave me alone. Me and your girl. 
while we speak on the phone. Kill the whole crew of MCs on my own. Kill the whole crew of MCs for the phone. Look. <laughs> Me and your girl speak on the phone. Bro, you want to be disrespectful. Tell somebody, you, you talk about somebody's mama. He's already done that. Uh, or you're taking, you're taking, bring the, you bring the chicken to the conversation and talking about I'm talking to your girl on the phone so she might be saying one thing to you but she talking to me behind your back like that's massive disrespect I was out hungry so I'm hungry man try to eat them he need a bowl now these niggas they need me to grow hot chocolate and a panini to go I'm a big man for the close school war man are upset about the mobile wars yeah I was guessing at the mobile wars why? cause I ain't won the mobile before <laughs> All of you MC sound so bitter. Shut down Wiley, shut, shut down Twitter. Twitter. Shout out DP, shout, shout out Flipper. Out okay, shut down Wiley, shut down Twitter. Okay, so I know that they, they took quite a few shots at each other, not only, I, I guess, through Twitterverse, but also I know they did a couple of tracks towards each other uh, in songs. My age, yeah, blood, look, if you don't rate me, shame on you. If you don't rate me, shame on you. Can I order a deathbed for an MC? Wait, he wants beef with me, make that too. Anyone else want to make that move? Anyone else want to pay their dues? Sniff chocolate, yeah, my face so smooth. Imposters want to take my tube. Check it, don't even talk too much, you're a talker. Don't mess with your I find that highly funny talking about uh, paying your dues and stuff like that. And you're talking about Wiley. Like, that cat paid his dues. Like, uh... That's, uh, yeah, that, now as far as other cats trying to come with the game, like, this is, what, six years ago, so, I see there we go, Stormzy, shut up. So I'm guessing this was towards Wiley. Um, and probably some other people that, you know, talking some smack. I, I'm not mistaken from what I've gathered just by taking and reading up on some stuff. Uh, he caught flack for taking and cozying up to Drake, which, to be honest with you, Drake is the biggest poser in music. I'm, he, he borrows from everybody. And it's one thing to borrow from, and it's a complete another thing to co-op. And he co-ops a lot of stuff. Like, he just absolutely assimilates it into his style of music. Now, granted... Uh, Drake there for a while did seem to uh, want to emulate everything, uh, speech and everything like that uh, from folks over there in the UK. But again, it was just another thing that he used as a stepping stone to take and get even higher in the charts here in the US. So it's more of a use than anything else. And he does that to a lot of stuff. He very much takes and grabs and pulls and uses it for his benefit where it's beneficial to him uh, until he no longer needs to take and do it or until he finds something else to take and pull in. So uh, I could see maybe some of the flight from cozying up to him. But then again, the clout that you can take and get from having that kind of artist who's so freaking mainstream put a spotlight on a certain, you know, either an artist himself or a genre as a whole I can see that it's a double-edged sword a lot of times. It really is. Um, so, I like this, though. I, I definitely wanted to, because he, he took and had that swag about him. Got some swag about him. He's very much cocky, but also very confident. And he, lyrically, you know, he was slightly disrespectful. Just saying. And he didn't even take and do it in, like, such a, because some people show disrespect in their songs, and it's just like blatantly just in your face the whole way through. This was like little jabs here and there, just little. Mm. So I like this. Y'all let me know in the comments next thing I should look at by Stormzy. So y'all be good to each other. Love yourselves. Peace.